Hello there fragrance lovers. How are you doing today? I hope you are having an amazing day. Yes, a very exciting review. This is Ledger X by our very own The Centurion. So The Centurion, Scott, is gone and released the fragrance. And this is a fragrance that is meant for summer weather and as well this fragrance is meant to be a signature scent and this comes in a 50 ml bottle for 75 pounds and this is a vegan and cruelty free fragrance so let's hear it for ledger x <laughs> right so ledger x how does the fragrance smell like and you know what i was very curious when i saw the notes i saw there was a tomato leaf and then we had a mint and i was thinking to myself do i even have a fragrance that is got that note i think not i'm not very familiar with mint in fragrances tomato leaf not that either i'm not sure if i have a fragrance or smelt anything with that so i was quite curious like how is this gonna smell like so let's hear it for ledger x and they listed notes with this one and we'll go through the notes and how uh what i felt and thought about the fragrance so i was sent a sample yes we have a sample there is a little bit left still i think we've got two sprays or so three four sprays left I did wear this to bed as well so I can tell you about how long it lasts anyway into the notes so at the top we've got lemon there's lime and there's apple and mint hmm okay in the mid we do have Sicilian tomato leaf there's herb bouquet and some jasmine at the base there's sandalwood leather vetiver and musk oh okay so we do have only the one the one uh floral so it won't be much floral how did the fragrance wear actually i've got it on here i spread just a bit not too long ago and you know what the opening with this fragrance is a lovely citrus it opens up with the citrus with the lemon almost sharp but then it does tone down almost um almost immediately like a minute after that sharpness just fizzles and you do have a lovely lime and lemon left with that mint and the apple and the apple in this is quite a lovely almost like a green juicy apple that's how i imagine that's how it smelled very fresh very fresh and that mint you know what the mint in this as well did remind me of like you know when i was younger and my mom we would always be in charge of my mom would always uh, have us to water our plants so we would be watering all the basil the mint the chilies and everything and we my mom used to grow a lot of plants so we would and imagine um a mint leaf that's just been watered how it would smell like mm, really nice that's that's the image that came to my mind when i smelled it it took me back like richie smelling that and you know what i was thinking to myself why am i even smelling this and then i realized the vetiver as well it's got that earthiness but almost like a dry earthiness about it anyway <sighs> moving on this fragrance i quite liked the opening but it was when we got to the dry down that i even enjoyed it even more because as the fragrance wears on <sighs> You get that mint that mint comes through and then as well that tomato leaf the tomato leaf in this is quite like fresh very it smells almost like a herb like very herbaceous it is quite herbaceous and the mint is still there in the background lacking with the citruses and it's giving it there's a hint of sweetness as well and i was wondering where might this be coming from and I think that's probably coming from maybe the sandalwood. There's a bit of a creamy sandalwood in this. It's creamy. It's not like hugely creamy, but it's nice. It's not like your dry sandalwood. It's more on the creamy side to my nose at least. And yes, and also there's the, the the tomato leaf in this reminded me of like a crush. You know, when you take the tomato leaves and use squash them squish them and that juice that's left you know the green juice that comes off that 
green I was chlorophyll that is how it smelled to me and it's just like fresh fresh quite nice it's lovely and these 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 notes took me back to my childhood and i know why i think it's because ever since i don't grow much plants myself such as that i would rather just plant have lavenders and stuff like that anyway <laughs> yes so as the fragrance uh, wears on as well that um the leather is there but i feel like the leather in here is not like for the knot to come out more like just to support and give depth to the fragrance because it's not like very unmalic it's not so prominent it is there yes like when you know that the leather is listed then you kind of almost smell it like in the background but it's not like forthcoming and as well um the vetiver the vetiver here again i feel like the vetiver is here to add depth to the fragrance and as well to the to add longevity and it's got a bit of a dryness about it and then the masks there's the masks here but again i feel like the masks are here more like just supporting and giving that best and giving longevity to the fragrance because they're not like in your face masks and it's there in the in the dry down i feel like the sandal does come out a bit more it comes out and it's lovely creamy and mixed to be honest the jasmine in this doesn't really appear like how jasmine would come and dominate normally jasmine is like in your face but it's not in here it's there yes you get hints of it but not in huge amount and again it's probably just to how they make the fragrance work together all the notes like had this to support this and just tweak it make it better and it's just a lovely lovely composition all you know i feel like this fragrance would be really enjoyed and it would be much nicer on the man because it's got almost like a bit of a fougere feel to it even though it doesn't have all the ingredients you would need for a fougere but it has that aromatic feel about it especially with the top and the meat because of that tomato leaf and that mint and even with that lime it gives it that fougere vibe to it it's got a fougere vibe especially in the opening as it transitioned i would say about an hour and it does project as well and if you spray this even on clothes it's gonna last you a long time i wore this to bed and i woke up and i could still smell it so it did last a good eight to nine hours and all in all what i would say about this fragrance is absolutely solid release from the centurion like gorgeous fragrance it's a lovely fragrance and i feel like like i said men are gonna enjoy this much more but that's not to say that women can't pull this off and especially for me when it gets into the dry down i feel like if i'm wearing this fragrance going out just to maybe i'm gonna wear it like uh minutes before i leave sort of like if i'm leaving the house at 10 i'll put it on maybe at half nine or nine o'clock just so that it's kind of dry you know settling down so that by the time i'm getting out it's when those um, creamy sandalwood hits and then it'll just be glorious gorgeous and yes so all in all i enjoyed this fragrance and i'm so proud of scott for his achievements because i think as a fragrance lover that would be the ultimate goal for any of us so well done you and all the very best and i'm looking forward to getting a bottle because definitely i'll need this in my collection and just gorgeous gorgeous fragrance well done so those were my thoughts on um ledger x i thought i should wait to speak about this fragrance but then i thought i'm even running out of the sample and i'm not sure that i'm gonna be shopping uh soon so anyway anyway i thought i come on and share my thoughts just in case it gives a guide to someone thinking about buying this fragrance so have you sampled this fragrance because i know a few people have already sampled this a few people have already had the chance to sample it have you sampled it have you enjoyed it i know i saw lizzie um she did have a live yesterday 
and I watched that and I totally agree with her but as always fragrances are very subjective so go on go and get a sample I'm not sure if Scott is selling samples but the fragrance is available on the Etsy website I'll link that but I'm sure if you had to ask to buy samples I'm sure you would so yes those were my thoughts on Ledger X thank you so much for watching I shall see you soon bye